What's it like living with over 200 pets? Let's find out. Living with a frog is pretty easy because all he does is eat and jump around. Although he does do a mating call, which is really, really loud, and he's nocturnal, so it's always at night time. But apart from that, he's great. Living with the tarantula is super fun, apart from when you wake up at 4am one night with him on your face. Living with fish is pretty funny because these ones have really big lips. Living with a potentially pregnant female meerkat is also super fun. She also sleeps in my bed a lot, which is super cute. Living with two musk turtles is also great, apart from when you get bitten. Their water also gets really dirty, so I don't recommend them. Living with six baby Tenrix is the most adorable thing ever. And they're also going to be having more babies soon. But you have to be careful because sometimes Tenrix can eat way too much and you have to put them on a diet. Living with a giant Yemen chameleon can be super scary when all he wants to do is bite you. Yemen chameleons don't make great pets because they don't like being handled. Living with the icon himself, Milo the meerkat, is super exciting because he has so much character. And Milo gives lots of cuddles. And living with two crazy monkeys is also very exciting. Trish is definitely the crazier one. Freddy's trying to open the locust packet. Freddy, what are you doing? He's so cute. And I think you guys already know sugar gliders make the cutest pets ever. If you'd like a part two, make sure to drop a comment. And make sure to let me know what you think of these adorable Milo hoodies. Look how cute they are. Hey guys, so right here I have 10 baby axolotls. Well, actually they're axolotl eggs, but one has already hatched. I saw him wriggling about earlier. Nice how it was delivered in a breast milk storage bag. Anyway, for the time being, this is their new home. And to begin, we're going to need to fill this up with water. Now it's filled with water, we're going to use some prime dechlorinator to make this water safe. And now our water's safe, we're going to add a tiny amount of methylene blue to kill any fungus. Methylene blue is so strong that I only had to dip the lid in. And as you can see, this stuff does stain. And when the babies are a bit bigger, we're going to add an air stone, but I don't want to do that because I don't want to hurt the eggs. For now, this will be used to hatch our brine shrimp. Now we've got our lovely dechlorinated water, we're going to add in our babies. And we need to get this dead one out. And because axolotls are in little membranes, this could damage the other eggs. And this sad little ghost axolotl is going to go right down the toilet. And this little guy right here is our hatched axolotl, which will actually go into a separate enclosure. I'm going to see. There we go. He just moved. Come on. Give us a wiggle. Axolotls are quite funny because they will act dead, but he's actually very much alive. And he needs some brine shrimp ASAP. Hey, little dude. And we will actually notice that the axolotls which haven't hatched yet will be wiggling around, ready to hatch soon. And you can already see that we have such a variation of types. Anyway, stay tuned for a feeding video of the new baby. Trish, do you like honey? Yeah? Did you not like your bath? No? But you do like honey, don't you? Yes, you do. Mmm. Uh-oh. Trish, I just gave you... Ow! <gasps> Ow! What's going on? Hey guys, so today Milo is going to be eating this giant rat, not on my hoodie! Milo is eating this giant rat, hopefully not on my bedroom floor. I'm going to try and take it away from him and feed him somewhere else. So guys, Milo has the entire rat in his mouth and I really need to get it off him because he can't just be eating it in my bedroom. Milo, please be a good boy and go to the bathroom. So guys, I'm currently under my bed watching Milo eat this rat. It's literally, it's guts are on my floor. Um, obviously this isn't what I was expecting, but Milo really got excited over the rat and I'm now going to have to get my floor properly cleaned. Milo, you are absolutely vile and I'm going to put a graphic warning on this video. Milo! Why didn't you just eat it in the bathroom or something? Ew! Come on, Milo, please. So I managed to get Milo into the animal room and he's eating the rat down there. Um, I'm not going to show it, it's very graphic and I actually feel a little bit dizzy. And as much as I do feel sorry for the rat, it is something we must do to keep their diet very varied. Hey guys, so apparently if you put strawberries in very salty water, the bugs will be forced to come out of the strawberries and you'll get to see what you're really eating. So I'm going to cover the strawberries in salt, add some water, and then look at the bugs under a microscope later. So first up, I'm adding lots and lots of salt. 
That was a lot. Now I'm adding water. And now the strawberries are completely submerged in the salty water. Over the next two hours, bugs will start to crawl out. And I think I can already see some. Ew. So I'll be back with a part two, and that's where I'll look at the bugs under a microscope. Hey guys, so yesterday I put a load of strawberries in salty water to watch the bugs come out, and the results are ready. So not only have I found bugs in my strawberries, but I've also found mold. Lots of tiny little bugs. And I even found dead flies. This is so gross, and I think I'm just going to pour it away, but if you want me to look at it under a microscope, make sure to like. Pet tour, let's go. Okay guys, so first up we obviously have my new giant tarantula. He is the size of my hand, and he is so beautiful, but so scary. Next up, we have my giant Asian water dragon, who's very fast and very big. Look how long his tail is. He can run so fast, and he's so crazy. Next up, we have my big fat Gumby tree frog. And he's going to get a girlfriend soon because he keeps doing his mating calls, so he's ready to breed. Then we have my favorite pet of all, my goldfish. Next, we have my hedgehog lesser Tenrix, and they're actually breeding again. This is Flo, and she's pregnant. Then we have my super cute baby chameleon. My baby bearded dragon who loves mealworms. He's actually a rescue and lost one of his legs. Here we have my baby sugar gliders who are fast asleep. I think I just woke them up to be honest. And of course we have Milo. My big fat chameleon Blaze. He's a boy and he's very large. My two baby monkeys who love honey. It's definitely their favorite snack and Trish is so cute. Freddy's the one who nibbles sometimes. But yeah, that's all for this video. And if you'd like a part two, make sure to drop a comment. I have a lot of pets. December. Hey guys, so today I'm introducing my parrot to different pets of mine and seeing how he reacts. He's very hyper today. First up, we have my giant lizard, and I think he's already a little bit scared. Are you gonna say hey? Nope. <laughs> okay guys, and now we have my big tarantula, and he's actually very interested. He's very, very interested, but he's definitely being cautious. I think he quite likes the spider, he's being very friendly. Do you like him? Good boy. Come on then, are we gonna go meet someone else? No, that's naughty. Okay, he's being very, very naughty now and I think he really, really likes the spider, but obviously I need to be careful because I don't want my spider getting hurt. Okay, now we're gonna go and meet the monkeys. Okay, he's very, very scared of them and he's not happy to be here. He feels much safer on my shoulder, but I don't think he likes the monkeys. They don't wanna hurt you, they're just interested. They don't know what you are. Yeah. When I bring him closer, he just gets away, so he definitely doesn't like the monkeys. Say hello. Nope, it's not happening. But the monkeys really like him. Look, they like you. Yeah. And Milo is ready to eat him. He's been scenting everywhere, so we're not going to bother. And the last pet we have is one of my Tenrix, and do you like him? Yeah? Do you like him? He's very, very excited about the Tenric. This is Simon. Do you like him? Whoa. I don't think you do. Okay. <laughs> if you guys want a part two, make sure to let me know. And by the way, if you're wondering why his wings are clipped, it was... His wings are clipped because when we got him, they were very sadly chopped off. But we're not going to cut them again. We're against that. And we're more than happy to let them grow out. Hey guys, so today I'm taking my pet monkey on a walk outside for the first time ever. It's pretty cold in the UK, so Freddy's got his coat on, a nappy, and a lead. Freddy's all strapped in and ready to go. <laughs> He's pretty excited, aren't you, Freddy? Freddy doesn't want the coat on, so I'm gonna take it off to make it easier for him to jump around. Freddy is a very good climber. Okay, guys, so Freddy just started jumping up the side of my house, and I really don't want to lose him. And just in case his nappy falls off, I'm gonna keep hold of him, just to be careful. He's very energetic. These nappies are for marmosets, but I just don't trust them. But Freddy really doesn't want me to hold him. He really doesn't like the grass either. I think it might be a little bit too cold for him. This is why we wanted to wear your coat. Hey, just relax. Yeah. Do you want to go and see Trish? Where do you want to go? Where do you want to go? Huh? Okay, guys, so Freddy doesn't want to go on a walk, and I think he wants to go back. Did you enjoy that? No? Not really? Do you want to go and see Trisha? Yeah? This is the first time we've tried out the leash, and that's why Freddy's so confused. But we're going to keep trying and get him used to it, and I'm sure he's going to be okay. I've been doing lots of research, and it does take a while to get monkeys used to wearing clothes. Why are you at the dog food? Huh? What are you doing? What are you doing? Does that smell nice? Stay tuned for a part two, and this is a slow process because I don't want to upset Freddy. 
and Freddy's now giving me a cuddle and getting lots of treats. Don't worry guys, we were only outside for a few minutes. I love you, Freddy. I love you, yes I do. What are you doing? Huh? 